close your eyes and let the mind settle down with the breath. Try to breathe in a way that feels smooth and comforting, soothing for the body. Because you want to give the mind a good place to stay, a solid place to stay. Otherwise we stand on things and they slip out from under us or melt under us. It's like the ice flows you hear about in the, in the Arctic, people trying to get across the ocean. And they want to get to solid land where they're on ice flows, and the ice flows sometimes break apart and drift off. Sometimes they crash through. They get themselves all wet and they're worse off than they were before. In other words, a lot of things that the mind places its interest on or tries to hold on to, and yet it can't stay there. And sometimes you make the condition of the mind even worse. So you have to be very selective about where you're placing your feet, where you're placing your attention. You want to place your attention on something that's solid, something that's good for the mind. And the breath offers you something right here. It's always coming in, always going out. It's just a matter of your learning how to make it smooth and easy without clamping down too hard on it, without trying to control it too much. Find just the amount of, right amount of pressure on the breath. Sometimes there's no pressure at all, just simply keeping track of the breath and allowing it to smooth out on its own. Then it gives you something solid to stand on. When you've got something solid to stand on, then you can take your bearings and have a clear sense of what's right and what's wrong. You look at the world out there, everybody's spinning around on their ice floes. Sometimes they think north is south, south is north. And they've gotten used to the fact that nothing is really for sure. And then you tell them if something is for sure, then they take offense. So it makes them even worse. They spin around even more. But when you stand on something solid, you can get a clear sense. You can look to the north, that's always north. Look to the south, that's always south. You've got something you can depend on. So trying to find something dependable in the mind which means that you will then be able to become a dependable person. You can depend on yourself, other people will be able to depend on you, because you're standing on solid ground.